Hi, welcome to your J Flight by Jayco 28RLS. We're going to start your vir virtual orientation on the outside of the trailer. And we'll do so with the propane system. Uh, most important features here are the crossover regulator. Uh, this regulator is uh, set up right now to take propane from this tank as indicated by the way this is pointing you could switch it uh, however the function of the crossover regulator means you do not have to manually switch that as soon as this tank empties it'll automatically draw from this tank also on the front here we have your battery leads and connection this is where the battery storage will be when I put it on there we are solder ready right here and we also have your breakaway switch right here if your trailer becomes uh, breaks away from your, your tow vehicle uh, it'll pull this pin right here uh, and engage the trailer brakes so sometimes if your trailer brakes are engaged it's just a matter of this pin is pulled out a little bit so you can check that as one of the first things also on the front we have your power tongue jack comes with a light helps you load and line things up at night uh, up and down that also has a port here for a uh, manual crank which is located in the front compartment here uh, we have some extra lighting out front we have access to the outside compartment or the front compartment here we have your stabilizing jack there's four stabilizing jacks at the four corners of the trailer they're used to stabilize uh, shouldn't be used to level the trailer so continuing on along the side of the trailer we come to your output for your gray and black water tanks and we also have your valves to open and close the gray and black water tanks Continue along the back here. We have your outdoor shower. We have your city water connection. Uh, so, if trailer park water or RV park water. We have your cable TV or satellite input. Here we have your AC power that you use to connect to the trailer park. Next, we come to your outdoor barbecue. Barbecue comes with a drip tray, should be stored in the barbecue when you're traveling. It just slides in the bottom here on those two little tabs. We have, sorry about the noise, uh, we have your quick connect hose that is connected here. And then it comes to this port over here. You quick connect at this end, and making sure when you want to use the propane, this valve is in line with the propane connector. And turn it off like such when you're not using it. To light, turn to the max position, use your barbecue lighter to light. Come to the next item of interest would be the outside of your hot water tank. You'll see that there is a drain plug for your water tank. You can remove that to let the water at the tank. We have your pressure relief valve. We have your fresh water tank input or inlet. a mount and a GFCI plug and the cable output that can be used to have a TV under your awning here and we also have uh, venting for your fridge it's important that this remains open and not blocked because we need airflow in through here we have your tank flush so you can flush your 
black and gray water tanks. Well, to notice while we're out here, that there are speakers on the ends of the awning that can play music through the stereo inside the trailer. So now we're coming to the end of the outside tour. We have the front storage compartment, which also access can be accessed from the other side and under the bed. Uh, in this compartment is where you, you will normally find your uh, barbecue. Uh, we have a mount uh, for that barbecue so it can be placed on a table as well. That's what this is. We have the manual crank that we talked about for the electric tongue jack. And we have the manual crank for your stabilizing jacks. All right, let's head on inside your trailer. Now we'll go continue our tour on the inside of your new trailer. One of the first things to note, fire extinguisher, carbon monoxide propane detector. It's important to press the button on the front of here every six months or so, whenever you test your smoke detector, just to make sure that it is functioning properly. Next, we step up and immediately inside the door is kind of your command center of the trailer. We have the control for the slide in and out. We have the control for the awning. So put your awning out. You'll notice your awning lights that are also controlled by the switches here. The main lights for the trailer, as well as your water pump switch, your hot water on gas and electric, and then your black water, gray water, and fresh water uh, indicator lights, as well as your bat battery indicator lights. Continuing on into the trailer. You see that you have some nice accent lighting underneath the couch there. As well as some accent lighting underneath the counter here. Your couch will fold down into another sleeping spot for any guests you may have. your dining room table. Now coming to the range top and stove. Folds back nicely. Has a self-ignition. So you can really turn this to the light position. Turn the knob and we have fire. That works for all three top burners. It also works for the oven below. If you turn it to the light position, the only difference being is you have to press and hold the knob as you turn the igniter, which I can't do while I'm holding this camera, but trust me, it does work. Bridge, we have three modes, well four I guess, if you gas, auto, so to choose electric if it's available, just electric, and then the last mode would be off. Have your TV system, and your stereo system. You have Bluetooth capabilities, as well as DVD. Uh, up note here, you have Zone 1 and Zone 2 for your stereo system. Uh, zone 1 will be inside the trailer, and Zone 2 plays on the awning speakers outside the trailer. You also note we have auxiliary USB and HDMI cable uh, attachments here, possibilities. So up note here is the smoke detector. It's important to press this center button every six months or so to make sure that the battery is still charged and the smoke detector is functioning. 
as I mentioned earlier, I would probably test the carbon monoxide propane uh, detector at the same time. Just uh, makes it a little easier to remember to do both. So lastly, in the main area of the trailer, we have your power center. So you have your breakers and your fuses. Good spot to check if uh, something power related isn't working. And we also have your emergency exits here in this window, here in this window. Flip up those two handles and you can push the entire window open and you can escape to safety. Of note here with the uh, air conditioning, uh, if these baffles are open, most of the air will flow to here. Um, if they're closed like this, that will force the air to the various outlets throughout the trailer. Now we'll move on to the thermostat. It's a capacitive touch button so you don't have to press it hard. You have your fan, auto, you can do high or low. You have your air conditioner and your furnace. Give you a quick peek of your bathroom here. Toilet. Here's the main GFCI plug. So again, power related issues, if it's not at the power center or the panel, it could be you just need to reset the uh, GFCI plug if it's been tripped. We have uh, a little mood light or uh, night light, as well as your fan and the manual crank to open the vent. bedroom. Features to note here is we have supported bed lift which is nice it gives you access to a lot of storage under here. We have a, another emergency exit. To exit here you push your finger down on the black tab, push the handle over and up and then push it out. After you've done that, you can pull on this red tab, remove the screen, and escape to safety. Uh, the other thing of note in the bedroom portion of the trailer is the charging center. They have a 12 volt plug as well as two USB connections. And we have pre installed mount as well as the cable or satellite output and uh, power if you wish to mount the TV in your trailer bedroom. That concludes the uh, tour of your uh, new trailer. Congratulations and I hope you have many years of enjoyment ahead of you.